Well, good morning, friends, and welcome back. During Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, Jesus was speaking to the Jewish people. At that time, their country was occupied by the Romans, and they paid extortionate taxes to keep them in power. They lived as slaves, so they were oppressed and they worried a lot. But then Jesus came along and said, Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, for your heavenly Father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? And we can read about that in Matthew chapter 6, verses 26 and 27. Now when Jesus said that, he wasn't calling their worries trivial or ignoring their feelings, but instead he was encouraging them to use the birds as an example of how to live in faith. Birds don't know where their next meal's coming from, but they don't have to worry because God makes sure that they get what they need. And if God provides for the birds, we can be certain that he'll provide for us too because he loves and treasures us as his children. And even if we think we're not worth taking care of, we're still precious to God. When we feel anxiety stealing our happiness, let's hold on to this passage from the Bible, uh, from 1 Peter uh, chapter 5, verse 7, which says, Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares for you. Now, it's not wrong to feel worried, but we shouldn't hold on to those worries or let them control us. Instead, we should hand them over to God confidently and completely and exchange them for his peace. Because God is the best father, carer and provider and we can be sure that if he looks after the birds so well, he'll look after us even better. So let me suggest to you, if you can at some point today, go outside into, into your garden or into a park while you're having some exercise and sit quietly, either watching or listening to the birds. And as you watch or listen, Hand over any worries you've got to God and ask him to replace them with his perfect peace. Let's pray. God of holiness, your glory is proclaimed in every age. As we rejoice in the faith of your saints, inspire us to follow their example with boldness and joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's finish by sharing the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>